near mint condition, the home of collected oh, edition. That cover is so awesome. Absolute format is the best way to own this store. Time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. How's it going, all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of Collected Editions. And join me today as I get to talk about my top 10 favorite Collected Editions released in the year 2023. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, we are continuing the best of 2023, a list that was kickstarted yesterday with YouTube's best reads of 2023. And a big thank you to all the channels that participated on that video. My list of top 10 reads will be coming out tomorrow of 2023. This is a list of the collected editions that were released this year. So I take into account the presentation, the restoration, or sometimes the fact that some of these stories have been collected for the first time in a big format. What you will not be seeing on this list are Marvel or DC Omnis because you all suggested that I do those separately. And last year I started making a separate list for those. So you'll see a top 10 Marvel Omnibus, released in 2023 and a top 10 dc omnibus released in 2023 uh so make sure you're subscribed to the channel smash that like button i love putting these together i will say that my top 10 reads of 2023 was so difficult because every month i keep track of what i read and things will bump out of the way and i'm like no let's bring this one back that list tomorrow was a pain to put together uh this one was a little bit easier but still moving things around and it, it, it's always hard to just choose 10 but you have to limit yourself because life has limitations um but before i go any further a big thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible the link to our patreon is in the description of the video and i couldn't be making videos like this without you all so a big thank you now there is no countdown this is not in any particular order it's just a list of collected editions that came out in 2023 that i think at least in my opinion of course were the best releases and let me know in the comments down below what your favorite release was uh, or your top 10 top 5 whatever it is down below all right let's go ahead and start with the many deaths of Layla star deluxe edition this is a hardcover that was published by boom studios and it is by rom v and the beautiful artwork and the reason it made it on this list is by felipe andrede it is finally available in oversized format as of 2023. And I think Andrea's artworks is just so beautiful that you appreciate it more when it's in a bigger format. You appreciate the colors and the layouts of the frames. Oh, uh, I have done an old reader, new reader on this book. We've talked about it a few times on the channel. Uh, but this is my first time that I get to spotlight the actual deluxe edition that was released this year and it is still available i think mostly actually all these books are still available but yeah this is how i wanted to kick off this list i think boom did a great job with this deluxe edition it doesn't have a beautiful slip case or anything it's not like something is killing the children or once in future but it is a beautiful presentation for the art that's uh represented in this book i will say that it is one of those that's also an all-in-one you don't need to read anything after this or anything before this particular book. All the single issues are collected in here. So for those of you that enjoy those type of stories, here you go. Absolute Superman by Jeff Loeb and Tim Sell. The absolute Superman for all seasons from DC Comics. Oh my gosh. From the moment I got this out of the plastic, because it comes shrink wrapped in plastic, I thought, oh, this is definitely going to make it in the top 10 just from this cloth material that there's almost, yeah, it's like this weird satin type of material that they're using on the book and on the slipcase. I was, I was hooked. I was like, oh, this is definitely going to make it into the top 10 collected editions. I just knew I, and on top of that, for the first time we get to see Tim Sell's artwork on Superman released in a big absolute format. You know, we've seen the dark tones that, uh, he did on Batman with Jeff Loeb, but this is a little bit different. This is a little lighthearted, and it's one of the best Superman stories. And what makes it one of the best Superman stories is that it's one of the best Clark Kent stories. I 
was so just shocked by how good this edition was when it came out and it comes with a ribbon no dust jacket but seriously as soon as you feel this cloth like material you're like oh this is special this is different so definitely belongs on this list wasted space the cosmic collection this is published by vault comics and it is the story by hayden sherman and michael moreshi and i fell in love with this this is the slipcase edition I fell in love with the story many years ago whenever I read the first trade paperback. Uh, one of my viewers, Darkstar916, sent me a copy of the first trade, and I was hooked. And I loved every minute of that intergalactic space. And to call it an intergalactic space adventure would just not do this particular story justice. It is so much more than that. It is about finding God and yourself and the higher power. Oh, man, it's such a great story. And that amazing artwork by Sherman has this weird, like, almost Euro style to it that reminded me of, like, Heavy Metal Magazines or Keith Giffen's artwork when he was going through that experimental phase in Legion of Superheroes. I fell in love with this book. And the sad thing was that whenever I would talk about it, I had to also mention to my viewers that, hey, some of these trades are out of print. But now you can get it all in one big book. So absolutely and it comes with a ribbon so if you can still find the slip case um totally worth it but the hardcover alone is just an amazing ride absolutely belongs on this particular list you want to get nuts let's get nuts why did i quote batman this has nothing to do with batman this is the promised neverland the complete box set i love box sets have i done a my top 10 favorite manga box set videos why have i not done that uh this is the complete series all 20 volumes are collected in this beautiful box set this is by kayu Shi uh, shirai and posuka demizu and those are the ma uh, manga ka behind this particular series that is not for kids uh tiktok tina and i actually did an in-depth overview of this particular box set so if you want to check that out on the channel um Click on the link above. Actually, most of these I've done overviews, in-depth overviews of on the channel if you want to go and take a look. But for the most part, for this particular video, like I've always done in the past, you'll see them spinning around in what my wife calls the Lazy Susan, which I refuse. I call it a collected edition spinner. I, it's, it's almost like a DJ spinner for collected editions. Uh, but yes, this is now all complete in one box set, still available. And published by Viz, and I, I like these bigger box sets. Like I thought, Chainsaw Man was cool, but it's not complete. This, on the other hand, has every single volume plus a little poster, two-sided poster at that. The complete Norse mythology graphic novel slipcase edition. And I have to throw the word graphic novel in there because there was a novel that this is, of course, based on. But this is the graphic novel adaptation. And, oh my gosh, Dark Horse, again, knocks it out of the park with this beautiful slipcase uh, with new artwork by David Mack. But uh, they did something very similar to that of uh, American Gods and the Sin City, and that's giving you gilded pages. Like, the edges are all almost like a rainbow color, like Rainbow Road. I don't know if you can see that or not but oh my gosh that was such a nice surprise the the beautiful ribbon that you get in here that has norse writing on it it's just beautiful presentation plus you get to see the wonderful artwork of mike mignola p craig russell colleen doran jill thompson just to name a few of the creators that neil gaiman worked with uh now i know the astonishing melanie and i have done an in-depth overview of this but this came in at the last, this is why I wait till like the last couple of weeks to do these type of videos, uh, because I didn't know how good the presentation was going to be on this one. So I'm glad I waited and oh, I'm so glad I did because it's so beautifully put together. Demon Wars, the treasury edition from Marvel Comics. This is Peach Momoko's follow up to Demon Days. And yes, it is a take on the Civil War story, but it's a reimagining of all these characters and settings and circumstances. It's it's kind of really her own thing. It, it feels less like Civil War other than the covers. And it's such a beautifully drawn and paint. Oh my gosh, the artwork in this is absolutely stunning. And I'm so glad that they did a... a, a um, Treasury Edition, because Demon Days also came out in Treasury Edition, and that went quick. Uh, now, the Treasury Editions aren't 
hard covers, but they're also not soft covers. Uh, they have this like flexi type of covers on them. I really like these and the fact that they're oversized to make you appreciate that beautifully painted artwork that's all over this book. I'm so glad they keep on making these particular editions. These in the gallery editions. Uh, so yes, absolutely belongs on this list. If you're a Peach Momoko fan, there's a reason why her line is miles long anytime you go to a convention and you have to wait for even like a little remark on your signed copy of whatever she worked on. Oh, absolutely. I can't wait for that Ultimate X-Men because it's her take on Ultimate X-Men. I'm, I'm curious to see where that goes. Next up is the Raidbot Directive Anthology Slipcase Edition. This is the only one of the collected editions that you'll have to purchase from the publisher if you're interested in this one. Uh, this is published by Raid Press, and I'll leave a link in the description where you can purchase it. This is a beautiful, beautiful anthology. Uh, they are in soft cover, and what this particular anthology is, is different artists and writers, and I mean a, a variety of different writers and artists that have worked, uh, whose work you've probably seen in the past. And the anthology just features different characters, but they mainly focus on robots. So if you've seen... Was it the Death and Robots, Death, Love and Robots? It's similar to that, but I, I, I really enjoyed this so much. It's definitely one that you don't need to read anything beforehand or know anything about this particular world, and you can just pick it up. It varies from color to black and white. There's some pros in here. It is an amazing journey, and each one is just a little bit different than the other. And some of these stories you'll want to just keep reading and want to find out what happens to the characters next? Absolutely stunning artwork, and the storylines just kind of suck you in. You've got art and stories in here from Marcos Toe, Scott Hepburn, uh, Francis Manipul, and uh, Mar uh, Ramon Perez, just to name a few of the creators that have worked on this series. Now, this is the first three volumes. There was a fourth one that came out. But that one is not available in a slipcase edition. Only the first three volumes. And I think it was volume one that had to go back to press. But I'm so glad that they decided to do this at Raid Press. And it's a beautiful presentation with this awesome, almost, I don't want to call it gimmicky. Because, I mean, that that is the point, right? To lure you into what the hell is even that? <laughs> but yes, absolutely. I was blown away by this collection when... My buddy Kyle sent this to me. It's a beautiful slipcase, and each of these books just featuring different creators on these robotic anthology. Jonah and the Unpossible Monsters, the Deluxe Edition. This is a hardcover from Oni Press. I fell in love with Jonah and the Unpossible Monsters when I was doing my top 10 reads of, I think it was 2020 or 2021. And it's one of these books that's all ages, absolutely stunning beautiful 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 artwork by chris and laura samney uh colors are just wonderfully done by uh matthew wilson he's the colorist and laura is the co-writer on this and i'm so glad they decided to do a big deluxe edition to appreciate the chris samney's artwork because i mean from the pages of daredevil we know he can do light stuff and humorous stuff from the pages of Black Widow. We know he can do dark and moody stories. So it's nice to see a fair balance here. And, and the story is so cute. It's just about Jonah and her sister Rainbow trying to find her dad in this world that's just filled with monsters. And both of the sisters could not be any different. Oh my gosh. I love, love, love this particular story. And I could not wait for this collection because when it first came out the or the trade paperbacks were these smaller scale digest size books and i'm so glad that they decided to collect it all in one so if you're looking for something fun it's all ages something to share with your kids this would be the one and if you want them to get their own copy buy the digest size for them and keep this one for yourself just saying wonder woman historia hardcover from dc comics this is under their dc Black Label imprint, but it's still DC Comics. Uh, written by Kelly Sue DeConnick and drawn by Nicola Scott, Phil Jimenez, and Gene Ha. And the art and the way that it looks on these pages blew me away. This is a historical look at the world's, or the DC universes rather, 
greatest guardians. And of course, we're talking about the Amazons. Uh, in here, you'll see the creation and the history of the Amazons and how we came to be with uh, Wonder Woman. But it is the art that deserves to be talked about. Each one of these creators, oh, I I don't know who my favorite was. I love Phil Jimenez and his many, many characters that he can put on frames. I love the layouts of Gene Hall and how realistic his characters look, but oh my gosh, the drop dead gorgeous women that Nicola Scott can draw. She can draw some drop dead gorgeous, strong women. Oh, I was blown away by this. Um, and I'm so glad that it was released in this in this type of dimension, which is like a magazine type of dimension. So it's not your stand, not even a deluxe. It's longer than a deluxe edition. It's like the Harleen book or uh, one of the, uh, what was it? The Batman Dam books, but absolutely belongs in your library. If you're a fan of Wonder Woman, or if you're a fan of the DC universe and the history of the DC universe, this goes into some heavy details there. I think this one out of all these is probably the one that's rated. I think it was mature or like, older teen maybe and that's got to do with the content that's in here because of the history of the amazons uh but not to be missed and still in print as of this video monster size hellboy oh my gosh absolutely i'm recommending this thing you all know how i like them thicker than a snicker baby thicker than a stack of divorce papers this is huge it's got over 1500 pages and on top of that, it's an oversized format. It's taller than an omnibus format. I've done an in-depth video on this, and it was one of my favorite releases. And it's got a ribbon, and I know that doesn't mean much uh, to some people, but it means a lot to me for a book that's this big, over 1,500 pages. There's no dust jacket. It's just art on board. And the reason that I put it on this list is because this is essential Hellboy reading. Like, this is how you begin your Hellboy journey and honestly, it could end here, but you'll want to read more. You'll want BPRD released in this format. You'll want Lobster Johnson, Abe Sapien, the rest of the Mignola verse released in this big, beautiful format. I really hope they collect a companion edition of this monster size book to have the short stories that were not collected in here. But as far as chronological reading order, this is this is the best there is like i love my library editions but this makes for a better reading order because i mean they do take out the little short stories even the two pagers uh pancakes i raised my heart that that was taken out of here uh but it also includes a couple of other stories that were not in the library edition so it this is put together in a chronological format so hopefully we'll get a companion but that is how i'm ending this list this year now, if you're interested in purchasing any of the books I've talked about, check out our sponsors. If you're in Europe and you're interested in buying these books, definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices, flat shipping rate of 12 euros for all EU countries, emails answer within 24 hours, waltzcomicshop.com, and you can use the code near mint condition at checkout and get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order over 40 euros. That's Walt's Comic Shop, your reliable source for omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Ding! CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know Near Mint Condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping, and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. And that was my list of the top 10 collected editions released in 2023. I love doing these every year and I love to know what you all consider the best releases this year. Whether it's your top 10, top 5, top 3, top 1. Try to limit to 10 though uh, at the most. Because, you know, I mean, okay, okay, sure. You don't have limitations. You can put your top 30 releases. I don't care. Now, remember, this is different than my top 10 reads. That will come out tomorrow. The books that I enjoyed reading the most this particular year. A lot of fun every year. It never ceases to amaze me what kind of new printing will be released for a story that I love so much. Um, but yeah, and it's always hard to move things around here too. But that is it, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for making this year amazing. And keep on watching because we got more lists 
uh, in the next couple of weeks. Top 10 Marvel Omnis, top 10 DC Omnis, and of course the top 10 reads of 2023. So keep watching, stay healthy and safe out there. Much love. Dang, just knocked down my Promised Neverland box set.